Good morning, everyone. I wanted to make an introductory video for my little bergamot and yarrow farms page. So I'm kind of putting it out there. I mean, I'm not doing this for some massive followers or anything. I think I got like six followers. I'm just sort of putting this out there because I know a lot of people are looking to go from city to farm right now. And they're looking to start homesteading and it's kind of an exhausting process in terms of where to start. So I figured I'd just document our journey. One of my really, really close friends mentioned this to me and she's like, hey, you should start a page. You should put it out there, you know, maybe it will help others or if nothing else, it'll be fun to watch and to go back and reflect. And she was right. So that's kind of what we're doing. So um, it all started back in. We closed on our property. Let's go back to November when we closed on our property. We purchased about 39 acres in Northeast Texas. We moved from South Texas. We were in a really, really busy city. We kind of lived in a private area though, so it didn't feel as busy at times to us. But um, we, we've we had this desire to, to have land, to have animals, to kind of do you know some homesteading. I mean, more or less do homesteading for a long time. And a side hobby of mine had always been looking into off-grid. So that's always been a fascination of mine to see how you can pretty much use the sun, right, to generate power. So we're essentially combining everything. So we're, we're going to be starting homesteading. We're going to be doing it in phases. We're not running full-fledged into this or anything. This is something that over time, you know, it will develop to be more and more and more as we sort of get our our bearing going but essentially we're we're building our house now and we're supposed to be moving in on September 1st and I'm kind of thinking in my head September 1st or October 1st of a move-in date and I know I mentioned previously we're going to be doing things in phases we're starting off with chickens we're going to be running our house completely off-grid I'll make more videos about what that is what that means I've had a lot of questions come in some people are like, what's your definition of off-grid? When you say off-grid, there's really only one definition, which is not being connected to the electrical grid. So I'll talk a little bit more about that and probably split it up because it is such a huge topic and there's all different aspects to it. You know, whether it's designing a system, whether it's, um, you know, figuring out how to solve some issues when you're using solar. Like some people say you can't use AC when you have solar and you can. It just requires a very unique system and that sort of technology we're very behind in, in the US. So I'll talk a little bit more about that again in different videos about what we're doing, where we're getting these these products if you if you want and, and how we're how we're delivering that overall solution. But um, at the end of the day we're just sort of putting this out there and again I mean if this can help somebody uh, with their dream, I mean, it's awesome. It's worth it. If just one person watches it and learns something beneficial from it, I think it's great. But nonetheless, uh, here we are, and I have a Bergamot and Yarrow Farms uh, Facebook page, and I have a YouTube page. Again, everything's very, it's very small. We're just sort of, you know, just going with it at this point. And I'll be documenting the journey, whether it's pictures or videos, and I hope to sort of air out our mistakes. And so, again, people that are starting this process, they they can sort of watch out for some of the things we may run into. But uh, but nonetheless, that's kind of what we're doing here. A couple people have asked where we got the name from. Um, I'm very big also into herbalism. I am. I actually almost went to school for it. It's something that's that's interested me for a very long time. And both bergamot and yarrow are, are healing herbs. And so when I was thinking about the place that we wanted to create, I wanted it to be kind of like a place of healing, you know, um, a place where, you know, peace, where it's quiet. And I, I hope to have a, an herbal garden there as well and harvest our herbs and make tinctures and things like that as I don't use over-the-counter medicine or anything anymore. So um, I'll talk a little bit about my autoimmune illness and kind of what that's led as well and, and part of this journey. But I hope you guys enjoy everything we're going to put up and I hope you have a wonderful day. Thanks. Bye.